Welcome to worship, whoever you are and wherever you are in life's journey. We gather this morning for Sunday worship at Pilgrim Church in Harwichport, where we believe that everyone is a beloved child of God and a gift to the world, and where we also believe that the Bible is relevant for our lives today. While Reverend Susan is on sabbatical, Peggy O'Connor and I will continue a sermon series on the theme, Finding Our Way. This morning we'll ponder the significance of the 23rd Psalm in our current context of pandemic and social questioning. The conviction on Tuesday of former police officer Derek Chauvin underscores the many challenges facing our nation and our faith in this season of reckoning. The, belo the beloved Shepherd Song can offer us insight and strength as we find our way forward that in a few minutes. For now, let us bring ourselves into God's presence with a song. Easter people, raise your voices. Let us take a moment to pray. Faithful God, it's the fourth Sunday since that glorious morning on which Christ, Christians celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, your Son and our Savior. This beautiful old world continues to spin in familiar and sometimes discordant ways. We are a people shaken by a devastating pandemic and by way of of too many, way too many instances of gross or subtle injustice. We pray for law enforcement officers today who risk everything to serve our communities, and also for black men stopped by the police who fear risking everything in those encounters. Lead us as a nation out of the darkness of racism, violence, neglect, and hate. Raise up leaders at every level who seek to walk in paths of righteousness, right relationship, as they carry out their responsibilities. Give the church, the body of Christ, courage and wisdom to speak truth to power while standing in solidarity with the disinherited. As we worship this morning, O Lord, bring healing hope and balanced perspective that we may order our days as daughters and sons of light. For we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd. Amen. As we continue in prayer together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 
Your generous support of Pilgrim Church is much appreciated. Your gifts have enabled us to continue this ministry and make our services available to an even wider audience. If you normally make a pledge during worship, you can do that now. If you are new to Pilgrim Church and feel inspired to send a gift today, we appreciate your support. You can donate now on Facebook or the homepage of our website, pcchp.org, or mail your contribution to Pilgrim Church, 533 Route 28, P.O. Box 247, Harwichport, Massachusetts, 02646. Again, we are very grateful for your generous support. Today we hear again the simple prayer song, Psalm 23. As beloved as it is for many people through the centuries, imagine for a moment what this song from the Hebrew Psalter meant for Jesus. He grew up in Nazareth synagogue where the Psalms played a prominent part in Jewish worship and thus in Jewish consciousness. As with many of us, Jesus undoubtedly knew the words by heart. How did the 23rd Psalm influence his understanding of the one he called Abba, Abba? 
How did its words and images shape his prayer life and help to form his faith, his practices of trusting in God and following God's will? Listen again to the familiar words rendered in the New Revised Standard Version. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. This beloved psalm is sometimes called the shepherd's psalm. While there are any number of references to God as shepherd in Israel's scriptures, the 23rd Psalm offers an intimate portrayal of the shepherd at work. If we look over Jesus' shoulder, we can imagine what Jesus learned about the character and actions of Israel's God from these words. The Psalm speaks metaphor upon metaphor and addresses the hearer very personally. Jesus undoubtedly heard it personally. The Lord is my shepherd. As evidenced by his life and ministry, Jesus learned to trust God as his shepherd and guide. So, later in John's Gospel, he could testify, I am the good shepherd. I know my own and I know and my own know me just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. Michael Landall notes, Jesus is our good shepherd because he has enjoyed the good shepherding of the shepherd of Israel. Isn't it possible that Jesus silently prayed this psalm as he approached Jerusalem for that final tumultuous week? When he knelt in Gethsemane, did he remember the words, you lead me in right paths, the paths of your will for your name's sake? Hanging, nailed to a crude wooden cross, was he breathing for all he was worth? Though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. What courageous strength these remembered words provided him in that cruel hour, we can only imagine. It is because Jesus knew the good shepherding of his Abba that he knows how to shepherd us in these unbalanced times of pandemic and social economic questioning. And do we ever need a good shepherd today? My own extended family is in the midst of our first experience of hospice care. I'm struck by how the opening lines of Psalm 23 resonate with the keeping a person comfortable mission of hospice. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Isn't that descriptive of the care we yearn for, for ourselves and our loved ones in the face of dying? The gentle, clear guidance of the hospice nurse and the soothing touch of the personal care assistant have been a blessing to my mother-in-law. As this journey unfolds, we as a family feel embraced by the support of the hospice team, as well as the prayers and well wishes of a larger circle of friends and congregations. As our in creator intends, we humans have the capacity to act out the attentive care of the faithful shepherd God. As Christ ones, we are blessed to incarnate God's love. It's really a privilege. We are partners with God, co-creators in repairing the earth and strengthening the fabric of human community. 
Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring you your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, oh, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make us a channel of your peace, O shepherding God, for we are created and called to shepherd one another, just as countless nurses, doctors, medical staff, and home health aides have shepherded those stricken with COVID-19 and a thousand other ailments. We become the hands that carry the rod and the staff of comfort and protection. We prepare a table in the presence of enemies, fear, loneliness, abuse, hatred, discrimination. We are anointed, a symbol of being called to serve, in order to anoint others with the overflowing cup of gentling kindness and merciful action. At our best, and through our sincerest faith, we open the gatefold of the, she the gate of the sheepfold and guide our sisters and brothers into communion in the house of the Lord, the family of God, where every life and all lives matter forever. Let us pray. O Holy One, who tenderly shepherded your Son, Jesus, filling him with righteous love and leading him to be the Good Shepherd, help us hold the words and images of this beloved song close to our hearts, let your gen gentle grace spill over us in overflowing fashion that we might be channels of that same grace to others who dwell in the grip of suffering or despair. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us, for this wounded world much needs thy tender care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My shepherd is the living God, I therefore nothing need. In pastures fair, near pleasant streams, you settle me to feed. You bring my walk.
May the shepherd God sustain and bless you, lead and restore you, giving you courage and peace. May the Lord's goodness and mercy embrace you all the days of your life as you find the way ahead. Amen.